He was basically raised by a black maid on Myrtle Street. Eliza May Williams was born a slave in 1862, and she was 85, and her and my grandmother raised me for the first two years, which are the most important <laughs> years. And uh, I remember the song she sang. I was, you know, two, three years old, and I remember the old gray goose is dead. And she would sing for hours each night. Eliza May had a lot to do with the direction the Colonel has gone in his life. Yeah, it's still amazing to me. I can still hear it. Feel the sunshine in every way. Feel the sunshine. Eliza May. I remember in the mid 50s, Chuck Berry came on and a little Richard, and I started doing backflips off the bed. Just the rebellion and the uh, pure intensity of it. I went, yes, this is what I've been waiting to hear all my life, and I found my music. John Lee Hooker, folk blues, B.B. King, he has this really mixed musicology that he got through his early childhood. And I think that's why he hears music like he does.